So this is the ramp rack. So it's basically what you see is what you get, right? You're turning your truck bed into a trailer, basically. You're converting the two, you're combining the two. So you see there's an extension here. So obviously it extends the length of your truck and when you have a long bed like I have, then it definitely extends the overall unit, but still shorter than pulling a trailer behind this truck or even a short bed single cab truck. It's still going to be obviously a lot shorter and it gives you the ability to put multiple mowers up here I've got one stand on mower which is the grandstand and I've got my push mower here so I got my push mower down in there and I got my grandstand kind of right up against it just kind of anchoring everything in so nothing moves around and then I've got it strapped down here going across the hooks in the bed there the hooks in the bed there I haven't put this back up on the on the rack I just kind of Got everything set up real quick, wanted to make this video before I headed off to knock out the day's yards. You can see here that the mower is fully in the bed, but because this comes out off of the bed, it gives you all this extra potential space. You know, before it starts to slant down, you can set the wheels of the mower like right here. So that would allow you to fit two stand-on mowers in this bed if you needed to. You can get a 48 or less in between the wheel wells here. So this 48 obviously is fit between the wheel wells right here to get up there. But so it could go all the way up there if you needed to. And then put a 52 behind the wheel wells here. And then like I said, it would come back to about here most likely. And, you know, platform sticking out is fine. You can obviously have a combination of a walk behind and a stand on as long as the smaller deck 48 inches or less goes up here to fit in between the wheel well and if you have a bigger mower whether that be the walk behind or the stand-up mower then that has to go behind the wheel well and sits here walk behind tires would still be here and then obviously the handles would come up here and stick back here but there'd still be plenty of room for that so you see there's a lot of versatility to haul what you really need to haul just like you would a trailer and you put whatever racks you want on here. I got my multi-tool cage here with my little handheld blower. A lot of times we like to just grab this for the small properties and blow it off real quick rather than taking the bigger backpack blower off um, just for one quick property. When we have multiple properties together or you know, and there's a bunch of us, it's easier for someone to grab the backpack blower and go around and get all the street and the driveways and all that cleaned up while someone else grabs this and goes like up on the porch and, and the patios around the back and all that and kind of walk around quicker with that lighter a blower for that and this gets the bulk and then I've got my straight gas can on this side on the other side It's just me for today So I, I didn't grab the water cooler because I have my own water in my cooler in the truck But I usually have a water cooler five gallon water cooler here for all of us um, To use throughout the day put a ton of ice in it keeps it nice and cold it's starting to get hot So you got that you got the trimmer line right there got my mix can there and then you got your three position trimmer rack right here. And then there's these brackets that the ramp rack manufactured for this purpose so that you can get a three position trimmer rack on here and not have it be up super high. Because what would happen is if you obviously mounted this on top of the bed rails, look at how much higher up that would be. You wouldn't even be able to reach the top trimmer. So I mean, I can just barely reach this trimmer as it is anyone a little bit shorter would probably have a difficult time getting this trimmer up here so this is kind of like the backup secondary trimmer anyway this is the main trimmer that the guys always grab and this is the edger it's a little bit heavier because it's the combi unit so i keep this one all the way on the bottom so we literally just pull it out almost at waist level just pull it out and go without having to use too much effort because it's heavier 
this is lighter so we can reach up a little bit pull it off and go so whatever you just set it up however you want but that's why there's these brackets here so that it comes down lower and i also like the fact that the brackets that we're using the brackets because it takes this off of the bed and allows it to sit out in front of your other racks on the bed rail so nothing gets in the way you see if this was on the bed rail this would be touching that and you see how far past this goes here so these trimmers if they were on the bed rail would take up the entire space here and i wouldn't be able to put any of these racks i'd just be able to put that probably and that's it so i wanted to have more use for the space so this really worked out perfectly for that too so now i can have everything the way i want it set up on here and then you also have the headache rack shelf combo right there. I don't have anything up on the shelf yet. So why did I get a ramp rack? Just wanted to give a shout out to Service Autopilot. I have been using them as a software, as a CRM for all of my invoicing, estimating, emailing, and so much more. Super comprehensive software system for my business. I've been using it for over a year. It's been a game changer for me. I've used several other softwares prior to Service Autopilot. I have to say that so far this is the most comprehensive that I've used. It's a great program. Go ahead and check the link out in the description. If you don't know anything about Service Autopilot or you want to learn more about it, go ahead and click on that link and check it out. It'll help support this channel as well as help grow your business. So I still have my enclosed trailer and I plan on still using it, but mainly in the fall because right now for mowing season, we're just using this because this is super efficient. You don't have to tow a trailer, which uses more gas. There's more safety issues potentially of, you know, not making the right turns properly and side swiping things, clipping things, running over things, backing into things. It's just a lot more of a learning curve, obviously, and more safety issues pulling a trailer, N not to mention all the maintenance. I can't tell you how many times I have to replace these wheels, fill them up all the time, right? Check the tire pressure plug holes the treads always wearing down in addition to the things that i said i just feel like it's a much more efficient setup just for mowing when you have a dense route like i have in those homeowner association those hoa neighborhoods you're driving up and down trying to get in between the cars parked going around all these circles to turn around and get out and come the other way and all that it gets very tedious when you're pulling any kind of trailer and the bigger the trailer and the bigger the truck combined the more of a headache that becomes. So many times that I've had to do three point turns in the middle of a cul-de-sac because now that I have a bigger truck, when I had a smaller truck, a half ton truck pulling that trailer, I was able to at least get around every circle unless there was, you know, like something else in the way, like a, another truck or trailer or car or something parked kind of awkwardly in the way in the, in the cul-de-sac and, and I couldn't really swing around properly then those couple of times would happen but for the most part it was no big deal but ever since I got this bigger truck with that tr pulling that trailer it's almost impossible for me to get through almost the majority of the circles that we go through it just becomes one more thing that you have to worry about and deal with so this just keeps you like super efficient like run and gun you're just zipping in zipping out making everything look great and you move on to the next one and you don't have to worry about all the different things I just mentioned when you're pulling a trailer. You can use the truck you already have, and not only that, if something happens to this truck and you need to switch trucks or you know buy a new truck or whatever, then you can take this ramp rack off and put it on the new truck or any truck. It's interchangeable and depend, doesn't ma it doesn't matter what size bed you have because it adjusts. So you just buy this one unit and then you can use it on any truck you want. But back to this trailer, um, I'm planning on using this in the fall. So the ramp rack, you can detach this section here. Basically leave it just like a plow. You just kind of, you know, you put that hitch down, you lower the ramp down, you lock it in, and you just unhook everything, take all the pins off, and you just pull away. And you could just leave it right here, just like you would do a plow. And then you're good for the, for the remainder of the season. And then you can put your, t you just put your tailgate back on, back right up, and put your hitch back on, and back right up to the trailer, and then you're good to go.